So in this series, I'm practicing carving portraits. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a misery themed pumpkin. If you haven't seen that film, what have you been doing with your life? Go and check it out. I'm your number one fan. Now I learned a lot in this pumpkin and hopefully by me sharing my practice sessions in this series, you'll be able to pick up some tips too. It's the middle of summer right now, so real pumpkins aren't available, which is why so far in this series, I've been carving foam pumpkins. Although you're using different tools, the principle is exactly the same. You're carving deeper on the areas you want brighter and then blending backwards towards the darker values. Now, if you've ever tried to carve a portrait, you'll know that it's really difficult to get an accurate likeness of a person. It just takes practice, which is the whole point of this series, is just documenting my practice as I try and improve my own carves. I've got my theme, which is the movie Misery. Now I'm gonna go about finding some designs for Misery and I'm gonna build a mood board. What I'm gonna do first of all is just find a load of designs that I like and drop them into Canva. This is really great for removing backgrounds, altering images you know if you've got an image which has got a very dark background it's going to eat a lot of your printer ink which can work out being quite expensive whereas this um, software you can just drop any image in click remove background and it does it instantly I've got a whole range of ideas i'm gonna sort of play around with some orientation of those within the software um, and just get the sizing right got a few other things which I may or may not use which are like filler designs so things like uh, a typewriter a syringe I've got a bottle of pills uh, the penguin which he knocks over when he escapes out of his room now once I'm happy with the plan that I've got for the pumpkin I'm then gonna split out the individual images and carve them one at a time onto the pumpkin so first of all, I'm just going to carve misery holding the knife. So I'm going to print that off and stick it to the pumpkin, which is, you know, I've covered in other videos. Throughout this series of practicing carving faces, something which I've really wanted to focus on are the individual shapes light makes when it hits a subject. And it's really the attention to the detail of these shapes as to what's going to give you a more accurate representation of the person. You know, a face will have lots and lots of little uh, subtle differences of the, the, the way the light's hitting it. So you're paying close attention to where the primary light source is and I'm going to pay super close the uh, attention to, to the, the, the shapes that it's making and I'm going to really take my time make sure that I get an accurate representation of where those shapes are. So I've finished the first Annie part of this pumpkin, and now I'm gonna move on to Paul, the, main, the, the male main character played by James Kahn. Whatever you think I'm not doing, please don't do it. I want to talk about altering the images to make them more suitable for carving. Sometimes the dark areas can be very difficult to carve just simply because you can't make out the contours of the face. So an easy way to get around this is just to take the image and alter the contrast and the brightness. Now this, you don't need any fancy software from this. This is something you can just do with any photo in any software. So if you're on your laptop, if you just open up the image in your media browser and at the top you'll see an option for edit image if you then click into that you'll get a load of options where you can alter contrast brightness saturation you can turn it into a black and white image if you want each image is different just play around with those until you've brightened up the the darker side of the image um, so you can just make out the the contours of the face a little bit better now as I mentioned earlier in the video I'm in this pumpkin I'm really focusing on the individual individual shapes within the face itself so it's quite surprising exactly how many shapes you can you can pull out of this so take for example this Paul character it's just knowing obviously what to look for I mean there's some quite obvious ones really bright areas um, but then some you know really making sure you're paying attention to the really subtle shapes uh, I think this is where I've seen the biggest improvements is when I really really focus and, and sort of try and pick out as many different shapes as possible a lot of these shapes once they're blended together they're hardly going to be noticeable um, but by you just picking them out to begin with as you're sort of working through your stencil you're giving yourself a framework to go off Now 
Now around the back of the pumpkin, I'm basing my design on what's probably the most iconic scene from the film, the hobbling scene. God's sake. It's um, so I've got Annie holding a sledgehammer and I want to put some feet on there as well. Now I really struggle to find a good reference photo of feet. So what I'm going to do is take a picture of my own feet and again stick out to the pumpkin and then follow the exactly same process that I've done with the rest of the designs. However, when I've started carving this, I've realized that the foam on the back of this pumpkin is really thick. Now that's my own fault. So that's just down to me not paying attention when I've made the pumpkin itself. Not too much of a problem, it just means that I'm going to have to carve much deeper into the pumpkin than I have on the rest of the design and it's going to take a lot longer to do. What's also going to happen here is on the really dark areas, because there's going to be so much difference between uh, in depth between the light and the dark areas, it's going to look slightly odd when you're viewing the pumpkin from certain angles, but there's nothing I can do about that. I'm just going to have to press on and make the most of it and try and do the best job I can. Now I hope you found this video useful, like, subscribe, comment if you want to see more from me.